Hello there, good morning. Welcome to another time of Singles Devotional. Our topic today is the Ten Commandments for Lovers. Written by Rev. Dunamis Okunawa. My name is Alfreda Ambibasi. The Ten Commandments for Lovers. If the Ten Commandments were written in a contemporary world, specifically for lovers, what will they look like? Let's delve into it this morning. This is not an attempt to change the Ten Commandments. No, those are sacrosanct. This is just a creative way to apply them to our love life and creatively learn from them. Number one, thou shalt have no other gods before me. This is the first of the Ten Commandments for lovers. This means you should not double date. Don't add another bone to the bone God has given you. Set your face like a flint and concentrate on your partner. When God is good enough in God's injunctions, even the traditionalists are focused. One guy in Abuja and another in Lagos while going out with both is not God's idea. One babe in Canada and the other in Nigeria while professing love to both at the same time is never the style of the kingdom. One young man to supply gadgets and an elderly rich man to supply cash is trying to eat your cake and have it. These actions are strange to the kingdom. Number two, thou shalt not make unto thee any graven image. This is the second of the Ten Commandments for lovers. This means don't idolize anything including your relationship, not your family, not your career, not your friends. Your work with God should not suffer because you fell in love. Your lover should not become a graven image to replace God. In your attempt to do that, you may end up losing that lover. God is to be worshipped. Your lover is to be loved. Don't get it twisted. Your lover is never to be worshipped. Your lover cannot be your God. You fell in love and you stopped reading your Bible? It's not a good idea. Thinking all day about your lover has replaced meditation in God's word. Not cool at all. You used to send scriptures that bless you to friends. Now you are sending pictures, nude pictures, to your lover. That contravenes the kingdom lifestyle. I'll stop here this morning to be continued tomorrow. Please take this confession. I am focused on my relationship. Say this prayer with me. Lord, help me to focus on my partner. Thanks for joining in this morning. See you tomorrow. God bless you.